All right, all right. We should be live. We should be live. <laughs> it's been a minute, people. It's been a minute. How's everybody been? Um, this show really wasn't even planned, but uh, we've had an influx of new subscribers. Uh, well, not to mention my old subscribers. You know, shout out to the old subscribers, man. I always think about you guys. You guys crossed my mind uh, here and there, of course. But um, as of late, we had an influx of uh, new subscribers coming in. And I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go live and, and say hello to the people. Let them know what's going on. Let them know where I've been. And, uh, you know, the whole thing. So uh, anyway, feels good to kind of be a, a doing a night show. Haven't done a night show in a long time. But uh, it's nice to be back with everybody. We'll give it a couple minutes. I just want to hear from you guys, too. You know, how's everybody been? I see... Garcia in the house, Gabriel Garcia, S-N-O, <laughs> uh, Evan P, Mr. Babane, I see you. Good to see you, Mr. Babane. Uh, we've got Combat Sports and who? Uh, Combat Sports and World Events. What's up, bro? Vasily, uh, Ray Blast, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, we've got $5 uh, <laughs> coming in. Uh, p uh, peace and love to you, good brother. Oh, ball as well. Yeah, yeah, likewise. Thank you so much. Um who else we got? That doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks, man. Um, George Elder. Salute. Um, did you get your book? <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Edward Cross, I see you, man. Uh, good good to see Edward Cross. Again, I think I hit up Ed Edward here. It's been dope, man. Shout out to everybody. That's good. That's good. Lyndon Ray is in the house. Shout out to you. Uh, it was good talking to you when I did a couple months. So what was it a month, a month and a half ago, two months ago? Uh, maybe almost two months. Uh, Junebug, what's going on? Good to see you. Michael Townsend, good to have you. Sinjay, good to have you. Who is this? Chelsea Holic. Ch Chelsea. Chelsea Holic. What's good? Carlos, what's going on, Carlos? Good to see you. Um, um, AJ Lino. AJ Lino. <laughs> What's up, bro? Uh, Jordan McLeod. How you doing? How you doing? Hit the like button on the way in, man. You know, I'm a performance guy. Um, I work based on performance. I work based on value. I offer tremendous value. Always have, always will. And, um, you know, if you, if these shows are, are all based on analytics, numbers, and value. So match me and when shows will keep going. You know how, you know how. You know how you know how it goes. Um, I'll give you guys an update though. What's been going on? Um, we've almost been off the air three months now, so uh, we've almost been off the air three months. But uh, but we're here. We're we're alive and well. And uh, MC Essential. I read all of that. Uh, there's a lot going on right there. Uh, but uh, maybe one day we'll talk about it. Um, I am closed for the year in terms of coaching. I'll give you guys an update on kind of how that transpired, but I am taking no new clients uh, for the remainder of 2024. In short, um, I have been recruited by a very high profile individual. Um, I will not reveal who that person is, but I have been recruited by a high profile individual who means business. Um, and uh, there's a lot of on-site coaching pretty much all over the United States and probably soon all over the world uh, with this particular individual. So um, this this warranted a, a close the year off. Um, it, it's that serious. Um, so he made the investment. Um, I'm making the investment. Um, and um, <laughs> this is it. So. Um, a uh, high profile person, uh, someone who I uh, am, am uh, enjoying coaching. Um, it's business coaching, it's lifestyle coaching, it's really the whole thing. But um, it's a pleasure to to have such a person. Um, again, um, I always said that um, you know I'm worth a lot of money, um, and and um, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm worth a lot of money, man. So, uh, but anyway, I thought I'd tell you. The reason why coaching is unavailable is that um, this particular high profile client 
um, has pretty much closed the calendar down of 2024. Uh, so um, kind of like you snooze, you lose, man. You guys had opportunities to to kind of recruit me and do the same thing. Uh, um, but this is on a very high level. Uh, so we'll leave it there. Um, I will tell you, I've been getting a tremendous amount of emails uh, asking me, you know, am I still coaching? The answer is no. I am not still coaching. I'm not coaching anybody new. Anyone that was already in the pipeline uh, in terms of annuals, yes, of course, they are still uh, with me. Um, and I'm with them. Um, but in terms of coaching anybody new, um, I will say there are situations where I will make an exception, kind of an emergency coaching session for someone that might be going through a crisis um, and you deem what that crisis is. Um, it will not be inexpensive. Um, I will tell you it will be expensive to get me at this point. So um, is it is it an option? Yeah, it, it's an option to get me right now, but um, it will be very expensive and i almost you know it just you know if, if you want to break that bread then then so is i will make the exception with my busy schedule so just email me go to my website everettoverton.com there's an inquiry uh email inquiry down at the bottom you can send me an email i'll tell you if it's an emergency and you really need my expertise on a matter um then i will i will consider it um but it won't be cheap i i, I it will not be cheap i'm just letting you know right now it won't be cheap so um so is is there an option there is an option. I want to make sure I say that there is an option that I can coach you regarding your uh, perhaps very serious matter, but it will not be cheap. Um, and I almost priced it in a way as a deterrent from anybody hiring me, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm talking we're in the thousands for a half hour. So um, so we're probably going to go 30 minutes. I might as well tell you we're probably going to go 30 minutes and it's going to be a thousand or more. So just rather tell you right now in case you're wondering um be happy to help but that's where my life is that's where the business is um and that's where we're at so um, if that interests you and you want my time and you're in a position to to afford me um email like i said we're gonna go a half hour only we're not going over a half hour and we're looking at a thousand about a thousand or more depending on the situation. So uh, I want to thank Danny P for $5 uh, on the day. Um, <laughs> it's been a minute indeed. Coach Eo, much respect, peace, and blessings. Thank you so much. Still I rise. I see you, dude. I see you. It's good to have your energy in the room. Um, I do have a, a, a something I want to teach you tonight um, in just a moment. Um, there, there is a topic so to speak, uh, something that I want to give you some some free information, <laughs> but um, I do want to acknowledge the people first. Uh, here we go, J65. Salute, coach. Salute, coach. Thanks for the wisdom and awareness that you give out to us. Yeah, I got you, man. 1,600 free videos on the channel, man. So there's a lot there. Sha Sean Lovey, uh, good to see you. Bernie EL in the building. As a matter of fact, I think I saw something from Bernie EL on the Cash app. Let me see if I see that. Thought I saw something. Yeah, we got a hundo. We got a hundo from Bernie EL for everything. So this is this is for everything. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Let's play Bernie's video. He's part of that hundo club that I created, you know, shit, two years ago to acknowledge, you know, uh, you know, the champs that come forward, everybody's a champion in my book uh, that comes forward and, you know, we get to know you a little bit. Um, you're still a champion, you know, in my book. Um, if you subscribe to this channel, I imagine you either you're in the pursuit of, of championing, championing your life. Um, and so uh, because it's not easy over here, this is this is the hard way, but uh, the hard way becomes uh, the easy way over time. So uh, let's play Bernie's music. Which one do I want to play for Bernie? Because I'm kind of in a dancing kind of mood. I think I think I'm gonna keep the nighttime shows if and when we do them. We're gonna do those. Uh, we're gonna do that uh, with the first video. Um, and then, uh, hang on, do I have that one? <laughs> I may not have it. Um, hang on. <laughs> Hang on one second. 
Dang, I don't see it. <laughs> Hold on. Let's play this one, man. Bertie EL, thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, a very valued client as well. <laughs> Shout out to Birdie E.L. All right. So where have I been? What's been going on? Why have I been gone? Well, other than the reason I already gave you, who's been with us um, since the beginning? Who's been who's been with us since the beginning here? Anybody in this chat room been here since the birth of this business and platform? Anybody been here since then? Again, J65, thank you so much. Danny, thank you so much. Mabane, thank you so much. Bernie, thank you so much. Um, who's been here since the beginning? Jordan McLeod, $5. Man, so glad to have you back, Coach. Been listening to your episodes on Spotify. Shout out to you and, and Spotify. Those are those are nice for the drive or whatever uh, these past few months. Uh, good to have you. Thank you for that contribution. Um, I want to thank everybody in this chat room, man. I got some beautiful people in here. Uh, building Excellence, uh, $10. Good evening, Coach and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Building Excellence. Um, who's been here since the beginning? Who's been here since the beginning, man? Santiago. What's going on, Santiago? Shout out to you. Uh, thank you for the contribution. Good to see you. And then another one from George um, uh, McLeod. Excited to have you back, Coach. We, uh, uh, we're, we, we was just listening to the five-hour episodes on Spotify. Congrats on the high-profile client. They're lucky to have you. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Um, this client tells me that daily. <laughs> this client tells me that daily. <laughs> Very, very, uh, very happy about this. Uh, this working relationship is is it really is a beautiful thing. Um, who's been here since the beginning? Anybody? <laughs> Everything by John. Shout out to you, ten dollars, man. I like this guy too. Congrats, EO. This is it, baby. Uh, as an entrepreneur, as, as uh, we always say, you're one deal from everything changing and that's true uh giving me motivation it's been it's been tough but got to keep pushing through stay consistent and don't compromise your values um and be able to stand with disagreement and not feel that you have to uh give in okay respect opposing viewpoints i've sat in many panels before I've, I've sat with red pilled individuals and basically just acknowledge that i'm not red pill i don't celebrate that i don't that's not me um i never even heard of that you know when i saw it on the matrix you know i thought it was a movie and then i heard heard grown men or you know you know walking around with that and i and i was a little bit you know like wow that's crazy that that's really going on but it is going on and and it's uh, it's nothing for me to be too harsh about but it's simply not for me you know what i mean uh pills are not for me uh, you know i already told you the pinnacle of game is letting game go uh, there's a time where you feel you need to run it until you become the game until you become the, the game as you are the game that you are um, and then the truth is people have to run game to get into to your space they have to, to run game to get into your uh in front of you they have to run game to get time with you okay so there is a time where you have to run game when you're learning yourself and you're learning life and then you got to get you know you got to get in the mud a little bit but there will come a time where you're more of the game now and there is no running game there is no spitting game there's no none of that as a matter of fact the op not the opposition necessarily because we don't want to call them opposition we don't want to phrase it that way but the outside world then sees value in you so much value in you that they campaign to be with you they campaign you know to have your time and so 
You, but that you must work up to that. You can say you are that, but you have to prove that. You have to prove that with wisdom, uh, with communication, uh, with action, with results. Um, and you have to prove it every day. I mean, we, we can all say we're things, but you know, you know, when it when it comes time to prove it, you got to be able to stand up and prove that, and then uh, then you'll get what you want out of life. Yeah, you will. Um, so thank you, everything by John. Living you. I see you. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Hope you've been good. Um, thank you for the 10. Hello, coach and fellow champions. Good to see everyone. Tr uh, truly tremendous value. Life changing. Thank you so much. It really is. Um, he's been a client of mine. And uh, CD, thank you so much. Good to see you. Um, good to see CD. Uh, Jackson, you are the best. Man, you're the best, man. If you see the best in me, there must be some beautiful things in you. For you to see beautiful things in me, there must be some beautiful things in you. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't see it in me. <laughs> um mc essential five i'm good i'm, I'm good coach got uh, uh go get paid yeah <laughs> yes sir yes sir um a lot of a lot of wonderful people in here looks like we got eo live before gta 6 gta 6 that's a video game <laughs> that's a video game um so okay so who's been here since the beginning um, I've actually lost 18 pounds. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I've lost 18 pounds in over the last couple months. Had to make some lifestyle changes. Um, did have some health issues, but I've since corrected those issues. Um, nothing too major, but you know when you, you know your health is number one. And uh, made some changes uh, um, um, in my life. Not that I needed to make a lot of changes because I was already doing very well in a lot of areas, but had to make some changes. Um, and since I've lost about 18 pounds, I have a goal of another 12, about another 12 pounds, and then I'm going to stay there. Uh, but yeah, uh, six pack, you know, abs are back, you know, uh, I haven't seen my abs since maybe 38, 39. Um, and, but abs are back looking good, feeling good, feeling light. Um, and, um, you know, and, 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 but more important than the vanity is that I feel better. I feel physically better. And so, um, that's the main thing. Um, and so, um, you know, the looks thing, that's cool too. That's icing on the tape. You, uh, cake, you might look a little better, you know, but, uh, the main thing is your physical health and don't under prioritize it. It's something that I preach, uh, quite often. Um, Dave Severini, I haven't said that name in a long time. Shout out to you for the $50 contribution. Thank you so much, Dave Severini. I also want to thank Samuel Deboni, who who uh, gave us a hundred dollars or gave me a hundred dollars a few days ago for uh, for a video that I made that that must have offered tremendous value. I want to thank you for that, Samuel, for that. Um, okay, I gotta get to this. <laughs> I gotta get to this. Who's been here since the beginning? Because there's another reason. Why I've been off. There's another reason why I've been off. Thank you so much for the compliments. Thank you so much for the compliments. Uh, there's another reason why I've been off. My dog Sadie died. So th this might be a little difficult because I actually haven't been able to like fully kind of grieve this. You know, it's it's been ongoing, but my beloved, the most important thing to me in my entire life, so, suddenly fell ill and died. Um, uh, my beloved Sadie. And uh, that's been a, that's been a tough one. That's, that's been good. That's been a tough one. Sadie's been my girl since 28. I was 28 years old when I got Sadie and uh, she got, she fell ill. Um, Tried to save her, and uh, and she died, man. So it's been rough. Uh, when that happened, I kind of just Sadie's been uh, a big part of my life for uh, uh, really all my life, or not all my life, been since twenty eight. But she's been with me through marriage, divorce, moves. You know, uh, many. You know, jobs. Maybe not jobs, plural, but she's been with me. She's been 
you know, the, the, the most, I mean, I'm just going to say this because it's the truth and I, and I have no reason. I've never lied to you and I'm never, I'm not going to start lying to you. Sadie was the most important thing in my life. You know, she really, she really was. We had a, a bond that was um, special. And uh, so she, she left, man. She, she's gone. And, uh, and, um, um, I did everything I, 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 you know, I try to save all my animals, you know, that, uh, I did everything I could to save her, but it just, it just wasn't uh, going to happen. And so, um, so salute to Sadie. Um, it's, it's been different not coming home and not having her. And, um, it's been, it's been different because I, I've been, I was home housebound for four years. I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys really know this, but for about three to four years, I didn't leave my house because I was looking after her. She had something called tracheal collapse. And so occasionally her trachea will just rest and she would just like pass out. And I had to be here to revive her. Now, other than that, she was a very healthy dog. Um, this is kind of like uh, breed associated, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the Shiba Inus are, are tend to have this problem, this tracheal collapse once they hit about nine, 10 years old. Um, and uh, so I stayed home. I didn't go anywhere. And that's part of the reason why I even <laughs> I started this business. I was like, okay, I can't be away from her no more. As I went to start a business and and go two feet in, and, and and do that. So Sadie has been the most special thing in my life. And uh, and and if you don't, and if you recall, I, I lost another very special pet, Molly May, Molly, February, or I'm sorry, uh, I think it was February or uh, March of 2023 she was a sheba yes she was a sheba inu and um and so you know uh, sadie sadie went within a year it, it wasn't quite a year yet so i had two big losses um and i put the money up man you know you know i'm a money man <laughs> i'm only gonna mention this because you know like it it's all comes down to commitment leadership can can your people rely on you listen, listen to what i'm telling you this is masculinity want to talk about masculinity can your people can your family can your crew rely on you to deliver if they need you 19 appreciate you man good to see you in here 19 uh say what's up to the homies um so when she got sick it was her gallbladder and there was no indications of any problems or anything she just got sick and started throwing up and i rushed her to three different places within 24 hours finally i got her downtown chicago to a place uh, they said that the infection had spread to her blood you know um Long story short, I put up 22 G's, <laughs> 22 G's for a dog. A lot of people would say, man, I wouldn't put up 22 G's for a person. Uh, heck, some people wouldn't put up 22 G's for themselves. Um, but 22 G's um, trying to save my girl. And I would have I would have put up everything. I would have put up everything that I have because I know I would have made that money back anyway because I don't live in a scarcity mindset. I, I would have made that money back anyway. But I would have put up everything for my, for my girl. I would have put up everything. But I didn't get the chance because she, she, she went into cardiac arrest in the middle of the night. She made it through surgery. That was a big deal. I thought we were on the other side. Um, and unfortunately as she was a strong you know strong girl very strong but she didn't make it so love her miss her and uh i thought i'd tell you guys that that's part of the reason why i haven't been here um is well the other part is i've been traveling too i've been traveling with this new client we've been in miami we've been in tampa you know we've been you know uh we're going somewhere tomorrow as a matter of fact um and so there, if i've been busy but uh you know, Sadie is gone. And so uh, I thought I'd let you guys know that because maybe you've seen her in a couple videos. Um, but Sadie is gone. Yeah. And uh, and I just put a damn, I just put a brand new fence up for her too. I put a brand new fence, fenced in yard. And, uh, and she can't enjoy it. So now I'm going to sell the motherfucking house. Now I'm going to sell the house. <laughs> 
Now I'm getting rid of this bitch. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, Rich Magro, five dollars on the Cash App side. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Um, so thought I'd let you know. Thank you for your condolences. I appreciate that. Thought I'd let you know. Um, Jesus, twenty dollars from Jesus. Uh, Coach, been a while. Glad to see you again. I had a scare with my dog recently. My condolences, Coach. I'm glad your dog is still with us. Uh, still have my confident cologne. Oh, is there any uh, way we have more fragrances in the works? Very good question. Uh, thank you, John the Artist. Thank you, Josh Meyer, for that. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, what was I going to tell you? Uh, yes, I haven't put an order in. Um, I haven't put an order in just because I've been so busy, but um, the DNA for the new fragrance, the new luxury cologne is completely done. It is done. The packaging is done. The bottle is done. Um, so be on the lookout when I tell you that one's coming out. That's a new one coming out. It's a luxury cologne. Um, you're going to love it. It's a banger. It's the epitome of masculinity. Uh, so that could be any day now that I announce that. But that 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 uh, project is done. I have perfected it. It is done. Uh, Mr. Confident, I'm in the process of wanting to make a Mr. Confident Intense. So um, be on the lookout. That's been the delay with Mr. Confident. I want to do a Mr. Confident Intense. Um, so that um, will be coming next, um, Mr. Confident Intense. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. That could be any day you get that announcement from me. Um, so we talked to Jesus. Glad his dog is still with us. They're special. Josh Meyer, $20 from Josh Meyer. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Maximus. $49.99, $50 from Maximus. Um, salute to Miss Sadie. And thank you for being a guiding light in, in my journey to being a champion. Mr. Overton, I owe you a million. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. David says, I want to let you know that all your fragrances are amazing. I was blown away by the performances and the quality. Thank you so much. I have Mr. Confident on today. Um, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mysterious uh, from uh, JPH, good to see you. Uh, so underrated. Um, I hope it comes back in the fall winter. It is underrated. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it 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 sold out quickly, but it 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 doesn't get talked about like the confident, you know. And uh, Mr. Central, I believe, needs more um, more more uh, more love and attention. And so. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So let's get into a quick topic real quick, and then I'm going to end the show, man. Uh, I just really wanted to say hello and let you guys know what was going on, give you guys a briefing. You deserve it. Um, we will do more shows. Um, um, I do have a couple of other things planned. Um, I have some lifestyle content coming up uh, because I'm doing a lot of traveling these days. And so I'm going to be doing some lifestyle um, videos, some vlogging style videos as well. Um, they may not be available to the public. Um, a lot of my content moving forward will not be available to uh, the public. However, there will still be some content available to the public, but a lot of it is going to be behind uh, a private, a private wall, a paywall. Um, Again, there's 1,600 videos out right now uh, for free. Uh, but anything new uh, is going to be more in-depth, um, and it's going to be uh, uh, where you can purchase it and then have it with you, you know, for, all, for now on. Who can tell me what all businesses do? <laughs> now, this, could, this is kind of a, um, a loaded question. But what do all businesses do? And just kind of tell me in this in this uh, in the chat room, what do all businesses do? Now, even if you're wrong, it doesn't even matter. But someone's gonna hit it. What do all businesses do? And I'll give you a hint in a minute. Andrew says sell. Shout out to Andrew. Yes, uh, um, but that's not it. Um, to think a little bit more on the um, 
I mean, I'm going to see if somebody solves a problem. Yes, uh, all businesses solve a problem. Um, we're not really going there. Make money is definitely uh, something all businesses uh, aim to do. Uh, some businesses um, don't have, um, you know, uh, they. some businesses don't make a lot of money. Yeah, you know, uh, after a product uh, or offer a product or service, yes, sell things, solve problems, yes, provide a service product, yes. Hey, what that means when a woman likes uh, your new shoes. Um, it just means she likes your new shoes and she could potentially like you. She could potentially be attracted to you because generally women don't compliment the shoes of unattractive men or men that they find unattractive, but they could. So so don't jump to conclusions. They could just like your shoes and they're done, they're done with you. However, I would like to lean on the side of if that she is paying you a compliment, she probably has some level of attraction to you. And at that point, if a woman's giving you some compliments, you need to know how to lead that process. Um Rico, $12 for the tithes. Rico. Uh, grew tenfold as a man giving your gems. So thank you, brother. Thank you, Rico. Thank you so much. Um, serves a purpose, creates opportunities. Successful business branches out, evolve, and adapt over time. All of these things are true. Uh, again, hopefully, because not all businesses are successful. Um Okay, let, let me let me kind of give you a hint. When you go to the barber, the dentist, the doctor, not always in these cases, but when you call in How do I want to phrase this because I, I believe all businesses either do this or should do this. Better yet, let me ask you this. Have you ever booked an airline ticket? Have you ever booked an airline ticket before? And the answer is yes. Sometimes when you book an airline ticket, they may warn you, depend, <clears throat> depending on seats already taken, that it may be overbooked and you may not be able to make your flight and that there will they will seek volunteers um, to not be on that flight. Okay. Sometimes some airlines might, it might tell you when you go book your airline ticket, you know, we're close to, you know, capacity, you know, full capacity. And so they may let you book it anyway, but they also give you a, a warning that you may not get on this flight. Now, oftentimes they will accommodate you with hotel or, you know, another flight or something of that nature, a restaurant. But sometimes you may not get on the flight. And why? Because they overbooked the flight. Why they overbooked the flight? Well, for various reasons. They want to make as much money as possible on that flight. Two, some people cancel their tickets. Some people don't show up. Some people run late. They miss their flight and whatnot. So they are trying to make, they're trying to fill every single seat on that flight. And why shouldn't they? The seats are there to be filled. So utilizing business concepts, which I've been doing since the beginning, when you make, when you set dates with women, Okay, listen to me very carefully. You're 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 on dating apps. You're in the dating game. Okay, you're dating women. One of the problems that I noticed, and I had to like out, I had to coach this out of men, is that they tend to book one date for one night or one day. This is how you get a bad case of one itis. This is how you stay at Macy's all day trying to find the perfect outfit for one for one lady. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, okay? But, you know, you should already be fly anyway before before the girl. But, you know, it's okay to be fly for the girl too. But I'm fly for me and I teach men to be fly for, for yourself, okay? Um, but what you should be doing on with dates is quadruple booking. Not just double booking. Yes, double booking, but quadruple five times booking. You should have six, seven, eight dates lined up on the same night for the same slot, okay? Instead of trying to spread it around like, okay, I'll see Cindy on Tuesday and I'll see Bethany on Wednesday and I'll see Sabrina on Friday or whatever. <clears throat> nah, what you do is you got that much time for, for women? 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. You know, I gotta ask you this question. You guys got that much time for women, man? Or you can do like five dates in a week? I mean, I know you're broke. I know you're broke if you're doing that. Okay. Um, and I know you're tired. And I know, you know, you're losing. Okay. And I'm going to tell you something else that women won't like. I want to say shout out to the women. I care about you guys. You, you don't have any guidance. You don't have men telling you the truth. Um, I never aim to hurt you or men. That's not my prerogative. That's not my agenda. I am. I don't get off on saying things to you that, that perturb you. I, I only say things to you that I know will be beneficial to you. And that goes for men and women. Oh, pardon me for a second. So... <clears throat> what you need to do, and I'm going to get back to, you know, are, are women ever profitable? I got to, I'm going to, I'm going to close the show with this one thing. Are women profitable for men? <laughs> okay. Now there's two types of men. There's weak men who are very dependent, codependent on women, uh, suckers, simps, marks, um, yeah, they're, they're very valuable to those men, okay? However, a man of my caliber, a, self, a, a highly self-sufficient man, a highly evolved man in life, <laughs> okay? Are they profitable? I'm going to give you the honest answer at the conclusion of this show. But when you're out here dating, do not just book one date for Tuesday, one day. What you do is you find a day... You make your money, you take care of your responsibilities, you take care of your, 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 your fitness, you take care of your health, you take care of your laundry, you take care of your groceries, you take care of your bills, you take care of everything. And then on that one day that you have time for a little rec recreation, um, you want to go ahead and book about 10 dates. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell every single woman that you're seeing that you have availability on X night at X time to do X whatever. And you tell 10 women that. Shit, you can tell 20 women that. Out of all the women that you were able to get a lead on, whoever gives you the best energy, the most beautiful energy, you pick her. Whatever it is you're looking for, I can't tell you what you're looking for. You might be looking to smash. You might look. I, I would like to say, let's be, let's have some depth as men, because you know you're going. Men like me, we're going to smash anyway. So we already know smash is part of the equation. That's not even a thought. Like, am I going to smash? That has that doesn't occur to me. That doesn't smashing. The woman wants to. The woman wants me. Okay, the woman wants me. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not to say I don't want the woman, you know, you know, but I, I, I'm saying the woman wants me. I mean, uh, get around me long enough that that woman, you know, will go fucking crazy, you know. But but what I'm saying to you is listen to what I'm telling you. El Baracho, $10. Thank you so much for that contribution. Good to see everybody having a good time talking, you know, happy we're back and stuff. Um. You book 10 dates, as many dates as you can on that one night because you shouldn't be seeing, you shouldn't be allocating four days out of your very precious week uh, to see women. If you're doing that, then in my book, you're a sucker. In my book, you're broke. In my book, you're tired. In my book, you're probably a drunkard too because I know you drink with these bras. <laughs> Most of y'all just go crazy for bras. Patron shots, stay out all night, do all this stuff. And you're doing that for the for the broad. You know you are. And so, look, there's time. There's a time where you go through that shit, seasons, whatever. Hopefully you grow out of it. But I'm going to tell you, as somebody who's giving you advice, shout out to Unique, was good. Good to see you. Um, is that you should not be seeing multiple women all week. What kind of grown ass man that's got responsibilities and out here making moves, got time to see multiple women all week. No, what we do is we schedule one night with 10 women, 20 women, I don't, 50 women. If you can't get that many women, three women, five women. Okay. You schedule them all in one night. All right. By the time that day comes, whoever gives you the most beautiful energy, going with your flow, pleasant, delightful, feminine, 
you know, can't wait to see you, super excited, exclamation points. That's the one that you should see. And what you do with the other women is you just basically tell them, I, I can't do it tonight. Don't, don't, don't ghost them. I don't recommend that you ghost any woman ever. What you should do is just say, hey, we had a date scheduled tonight or whatever. Um, wait until she touches base with you. <laughs> <laughs> she'll probably touch base with you if you're that dude if you're that dude she might say hey we still on tonight or whatever and just say yeah you know what i've been really busy today some things came up i'll tell you what i'm gonna make it up to us next week i can't do tonight go on with your night have a good evening i'll be in touch um and we'll do something fun next week i'll make it up to us i have no problem with you telling a woman that i'll make it up i'll make it up to us not to her to us because this was a date that involved two uh consensual human beings that wanted to, to meet and, and get acquainted so you say you don't say i'll make it up to you and because that's simp shit you say i'll make it up to us because it, the date involves two participative individuals <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so, you know, it's just that little word, you know, that little word right there is going to do better than probably, you know, what you're used to saying or what you might think is the right thing to say. Uh, Nathaniel jo Jasup, Jasup, I, I coached this guy before. Joseph, might be saying it wrong, but I think I coached you before, man. Uh, Hundo, thank you for the very gener uh, generous uh, support. Salute, coach. Just showing my appreciation. Thanks for the knowledge. I got you. Thank you. Um, so, again, Book all your dates on one day. Fuck all that. Um, I'm going to do a date Monday night, Tuesday night. You're a broke man. You are a tired man. And you probably compromise your masculinity for these brats. Because if you give up that much time to women, um, you can't be benefiting. <laughs> you can't. No, no man's going to tell me that they benefit from any woman. On my, let me just. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say this because because I, I have to say. It, all right, shout out to, to 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 the truth conductor. Shout out to Don. Appreciate it, man. Uh, good to see you. Check his channel out. Check his channel out. Uh, see, uh, see uh, you know, he, he's over there spitting some uh, some old school. Uh, but old school is is uh, never, never, never expires. Old school never expires. New school might expire on you, but old school ain't going to expire on you. Um, so, again, to reiterate, book as many dates on one night as possible. I'm talking as many as you can make, as many as you can make. If it's three, then make three. If it's two, make two. If it's one, is one but you know you might need to get more fly okay but make i'd say 10 dates up to 10 okay uh, and lower your standards a little bit because y'all ain't as as cute and as fly and as handsome and got it together like you think you do um you really don't um so i would say if you think you're an eight you're probably more like a six so then you need to be chilling with a with a five a four OK, if you want to be treated well, um, that's not to say you can't be with no baddies and no very attractive women. You most certainly can. But a lot of you men think you can get more than what you can really get um, just because you got it on one night or whatever. You you were able to hit something back in 2019 and and, and, and the broad in print of you. Uh, and now you don't know how to act. So. Um, so. Um, book as many dates as you can on one night, fellas. Listen to me. Book as many dates as you can on one night. And then the woman that outperforms the other women that were scheduled for dates, better energy, better communication, uh, uh, more excitement, uh, asking you what I should wear, you know, basically soliciting your advice, asking for advice. That's the one that you go on a date with. But don't ghost the other women. Tell them today is no good after all. I will make it up to us next week. We're going to go and do something fun. Have a nice evening and I'll be in touch. Don't don't wait for the woman to be in touch with you. That's very feminine. So you tell her I'll be in touch with you in just a few days, uh, you know, to, to, to make this happen. Um, if she don't like that, then she don't like that. But you women do the same fucking thing to you guys you think they don't have multiple things lined up and whatever trips their trigger the most that night depending on how they're feeling i'm not telling you to be like women i'm telling you they do this shit to you they will flake 
on the guy, depending on what they got going on that one evening, whoever they deem as the most valuable within that group of men, they're going to flake on the other on the other guys. This is when their grandmother fell down the stairs. Her grandmother's got choro and she's got to take her to the fucking clinic. All these excuses come up. You know, my mother's eyeball fell out. She she fucking wears a patch. You know, my mother my, my mother wears a patch. She's a fucking pirate. And her eyeball fell out. And I got to take her to fucking urgent care. Okay, she's going to come up with all these excuses and know what you motherfuckers are going to say. Not my homies, but you know what the newcomers are going to say? It's all good. No worries. We can do it some other time. She, dude, the fact that you ever tell a woman no worries when she cancels a date, she automatically lost more interest. She lost more attraction to you. <laughs> so, you know, if you hear the pirate joke, you know, hey, I don't know if you know this, but my, but my mother um, is one of the uh, pirates of the Caribbean and she wears a patch every day, all day. She'd be hustling to get paid. Her eyeball popped out. Um, my dad hit her in the back of the head, and the eyeball popped out, and the dog, you know, chewed it up and shit, shit it in the yard. And now we got to go get her a new eyeball. You know, that's what <laughs> these motherfuckers be saying when they have another dude they'd rather see they come up with the lame shit. All right. <laughs> that that's what they do so um so listen to me fellas these women are ruthless they don't give a fuck about your feelings they don't care that you've been thinking you've been working out all week with baby oil doing fucking military presses and fucking deadlifts hoping that you know you look good in your wranglers she don't give a fuck that you've been thinking about her all week and then when saturday comes you know you're looking forward to the date and shit you make reservations and all that and then she's gonna be like "Ooh, too much you know i'll go out with this fred du durst looking motherfucker instead okay they don't give a fuck about you. Women don't care about you like that. Okay. And so I'm not telling you to be like women. What I'm telling you to do is go after the, to select the woman that is the best and outperforms the other women. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not mean. That's not hateful. That's not misogynistic. What that means is I have options and I have to make a selection out of all the options because I'm definitely not going to be seeing y'all all day every week every night only broke sorry ass motherfuckers do that okay so um and and usually simps any guy that wants to hang around with women a lot is a simp and i'm going to tell you that right now i'm not talking about your wife and i'm not talking about your your, your steady girlfriend who earned her position but i'm talking about if you want to be around women all the time i guarantee you're feminine as fuck and emotional um so i'd rather you go make money okay go make some money man Go get a nice crib. Go get that car you want. Don't get it for abroad. Get it for you. You know, go make those investments. Okay. Go get in that crypto. Okay. You know, um, go put some money away. You know, get in some index funds. You know, okay. Start maybe get into some uh some gambling, you know, some some legal gambling. There's money in that. I'd rather you put your time and energy into something that's gonna produce, you know actual results and revenue and profits than abroad who ain't gonna bring you nothing now let me let me just tell you this about the majority of women let me tell you about this let me tell you this about the majority of women okay and, and, and only a man of my caliber can speak like this, because if you don't speak like this, I promise you, you are very reliant on feminine energy. You are not a self-sufficient man by and large. There's some there's some areas in your life that you're weak. I'm talking about men that are fully self-sufficient. OK, listen to me. I'm not talking about men that live with their mama. I'm not talking about men that don't have a bucket to piss in. I'm not, you're on your way up, okay? You might be a little needy right now. I'm talking about men that have their priorities in line. Their 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 ducks are in a row. They have their own shit. They got they and they're and they're starting to to they're making some paper and they got some money in the bank. All right. I'm gonna tell you the difference between dating and relationships. And relationships falls into the category of marriage too, okay? But I'm going to talk about dating real quick. Not a single woman on the planet 
is going to bring any man within a dating scenario any value. <laughs> okay, let, let me just repeat this. You will always, always, and I'm a master creator. I'm a master coach. Okay, I'm a master at coaching. I'm a master at persuasion. I'm a master at bringing the best out in people. I am a fucking master, and I can tell you that with absolute confidence. I am a master at being able to cultivate greatness within myself and the willing people around me. But listen to me. That comes at a cost. Coaching people comes at a cost. Inspiring people comes at a cost. It's very energy consuming. It's very time consuming. Coaching a woman, re-coaching the woman, re-coaching the woman, that takes time, that takes energy, that will cost you money, that will cost you sometimes sleep, that might put a few wrinkles on your motherfucking face. Okay? Let me, I want to say this to you, because you can, only the real ones will admit this, but if you got a business to protect and some sort of cope you know, over here, then you can't say it because you're too afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. Okay? So... <clears throat> Within a dating scenario, no woman on planet Earth will bring any man of my caliber or the men I'm describing any value. As a matter of fact, any time dealing with a woman, you will lose value. Listen to what I'm telling you. Any amount of time spending with a woman, considering what they need to feel good, to feel right, even the ones that are heavily attracted to you. Even the ones that I don't deal with a woman who's not attracted to me, she got to be, she got to think I'm motherfucking king of the mountain. You know, I mean, the king of the mountain. Listen to what I'm telling you. She could be heavily sexually attracted to you. You still got to fuck her. You, YouTube chill, have to fuck her because no man sitting there just getting fucked all day. I mean, even when she gets on top, you know, you still got to do shit. But by and large, women are lazy in the bedroom. They don't go give good head until you until you coach them, until you teach them, until you break them. No woman's coming in really giving you that great of a performance in the bedroom. What the truth is, we give the performance as men. We we make them feel, listen to me, what they need to feel through communication, through body language, through being in charge, through being assertive, through being handsome, through being built, okay? Through having, you know, magic with your words, through posture. We have to do everything just so she can feel right to get naked so we can fuck them. Think about how much work you're putting it in as a man, and you're going to hear some game dude who whack anyway, going to tell you the opposite. This motherfucker's talking all day to this bitch. And even the one that's not talking to him all day, he still got to do more performing than she does. At the end of the day, especially if he's going to give her an, uh, an assignment or an agenda or a purpose. Do you know how difficult it is to give a broad who has no purpose purpose? Listen to what I'm telling you. Do you know how hard and how difficult and how time consuming and how energy draining it is to give a purposeless woman, even though she's got a job and a sister and a brother and all this shit, she thinks she has purpose. But if you talk to her long enough, she's got no purpose. She's just a makeup applying, spa going, gym entering being. That's all she is. She is a gym entering, spa, a spa going, going to the spa, nails and all that shit. That's all she is. But when you take away all that, there's no purpose with these broads. 95%. We as men have to give them purpose. You understand? <laughs> and, if, and if you can't admit that, you are not that dude. You're flowing with the woman's energy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're flowing with the woman's agenda and the woman's energy. And I already told you that a woman ain't taking you nowhere but down. And this is not this is not their fault. They have nowhere to take you. 
Women don't take men nowhere. Women don't take men anywhere. Even when I had a rich wife, she didn't take me nowhere. She didn't teach me shit. Although I learned shit through the process, but you know, you could have a rich wife. You could have a well-to-do wife. You could have a woman with some cash, with some green, with some paper. It doesn't matter. She don't know what to do with it. She can't make you feel like a man with that money. She could buy you something, but she can't make you feel like a man. That's your job to make yourself feel like a fucking man. You understand? So I'm telling you this, so you need to know this. Dating women, you are always at a deficit dating women. You will never be at a profit dating women. And in a relationship, you'll be lucky to break even. Listen to what I'm telling you. This may hurt. And what this should do is wake men up. And this should make women level up. Okay, listen to what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you, if it bothers you, you need to level up then. You, the men need to, to man up. Men need to man up. Women need to level up if they want a man. All right? But you men need to man up. The problem is you won't man up. And all these women will just keep hoeing you. Okay, that's what will happen. The women will just keep hoeing you. They'll fuck with you for a minute because you got a little money. You spend the money. You take them places. They're trying to get over an ex. You're a rebound, whatever. But until they're done with you, they're done with you. Okay? So men need to man up and women need to level up to get to what I'm talking about. No, we, there are no call-ins. Maybe a future show. Thank you, though. Listen to me very carefully. When dating women... On my level, on my level, I'm doing the seducing, the talking, the leading, the coaching, the fucking. I'm doing everything. All she's doing is being the recipient of greatness. Listen to what I'm telling you. She's being the woman, by and large, is being the recipient of greatness. So how could I be winning <laughs> okay. Now I'm not losing because, you know, if you're a full man, you want to give some of your righteousness and your beauty and your masculinity, and you want to share that with a, with a qualified woman. Nothing wrong with that. I, as a matter of fact, I advocate that if you're a full man and there's a woman who treats you extremely well, even though she's not on your level, go on ahead and treat her to a beautiful time. You won't, you won't benefit. You won't come out on top. You'll still lose. You'll lose part of you because time is money and everybody's life clock is ticking. Ozzy Duran, thank you for the 10. So, so you are volunteering to treat a woman to greatness, to, 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 to introduce a woman to greatness. That's, that's what you're doing when you, when you hang out with a woman, when you're on my caliber, when you're on my, uh, you're on my level. LeBron, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good to be back. I don't know how long. I'll look at the data. Uh, I look at the data if it wasn't there. Um, it might be another six months. But you got to pay. I'm just being honest. You know, you have to give for information delivered like this. You have to. And if you don't, you won't see it. And that's just the way it is. I've already proved it. And I'll prove it again. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you this as, and only, and only weak men will be mad at this. But listen to what I'm telling you. I'm talking about truly self-sufficient men who are tapped into their masculinity and even have feminine traits. You know what the perfect man is? A man who's about 85% masculine, 15% feminine. Yeah, because he has compassion. He has empathy. He is generous, okay? He knows how to treat a, a child. He knows how to care for an animal, okay? 85% masculinity, 15% femininity. I would say that that's the, the perfect ratio. 85 masculine, 15% per, uh, feminine, feminine traits. So you're able to show compassion, show generosity, take care of a child, you know, nurture a child. You can do that. 100% masculine, nah, that ain't it, okay? And you're not that anyway. So you act like you're that, but you're not. Behind closed doors, probably crying on your pillow and shit. Uh, so listen, within a relationship, you're lucky to break even if you're on my caliber. So, so women need to know this. Women, listen to me. If you want that dude, you're going to have to work real hard to get him. Um, and, and if he's just giving you everything, then he's not that dude. 
honestly. Again, there is something called generosity and, you know, the fullness of a, of a beautiful, accomplished man. He will occasionally, that fullness will spill over and you will be a recipient of that. And he'll be happy to give that to you. Yes. <clears throat> but by and large, you're going to have to work for that man that you really want. And if you're unwilling to work, then go ahead and just keep getting older and uglier and nastier. Just nastier, nastier mentally, nastier emotionally. Because you don't get better with age, you get worse. If you don't have love in your heart, loving relationships, beautiful connections, uh, a sense of loyalty to something, uh, not forced loyalty, but volunteered loyalty, connection. If you don't have that, you have nothing. And so I want to tell you that when you're a man of my caliber, when you're in a relationship or if you get married, you're lucky to break even with a broad. You'd be lucky to break even. And now if you disagree with that, then you're a lazy dude that probably probably need women too much. Okay, if you're like, no, my wife is good to me. My wife, you're a sucker. I'm not saying your wife shouldn't be good to you. Your wife should be good to you. But what I'm saying to you is that you're too needy for that motherfucker. She should be needy for you. She should be falling for you. She should be pursuing you. And then when she does, you accept her. You, you, when she falls for you, women, men should not fall for women. Women should fall for men and you catch her gracefully and you clothe her and you keep her safe and you show her she's important and you, and you put her on assignment and you give her some sense of life for the first time, perhaps in her whole life. If a woman isn't living for the first time when she's with you as a man, I don't know what to say. Because sometimes a woman thinks she's living until she's with that dude. And she's like, I don't know how I did all this before I met you. I thought I was living until I met you. And now I'm truly living. I truly have a purpose. I'm truly joyous. So guys, that's my time. <laughs> run this video back man um <clears throat> leave a comment down below it's good to see everybody um, i wanted to give you guys i wanted to keep you abreast on what's been happening um you know i talked to you about sadie sadie passed away it was a big big loss and it'll always be a big loss um because she was my my favorite she was my she was my little my little favorite and so it'll always be a loss um and I'll live with that loss. I'll live with that. I'm going to live with that forever. And that's okay. I will have to live with it. And, and I will. Um, let's see what this says here from Unique. Get the likes of everybody. Subscribe. Click the join button. Uh, thank you for all of that, Unique. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Only the real ones know what the fuck I'm talking about. And the fake ones will argue it. The fake ones will probably have some sort of disagreement. But if you're on my level... And you know what the fuck I'm talking about? You know women don't bring no value. You know that. Okay? As a matter of fact, you you try to force them to bring a value. Not force them, but even the value they bring, you know you could have done it better than them. I, I just want to say this. I can do, and, and I know this sounds arrogant, but and I know this is kind of, I'm an anomaly in a, in a way. This is kind of very anecdotal advice. A lot of men don't feel this way. But hopefully when you get to the champion level, you do feel this way. You cook better than a woman. You clean better than a woman. Uh, you fuck better than a woman. You think better than a woman. You problem solve better than a woman. You do everything better than a woman, man. So any kind of correspondence with her, unless she's bringing you absolute beauty every time she's talking to you, she is not adding value to your life. And I want you to think long and hard about that. Unless this woman is bringing you her absolute best every single time you are in correspondence with this woman, you are losing minutes. You are losing greatness. You are losing manhood. You are losing everything. Fucking with a woman that doesn't celebrate you every single fucking second she's talking to. If if you're on my level guys remember I do emergency coaching it is not cheap if you need my help on an issue 
<clears throat> email me through the website, everettoverton.com. Um, there's an inquiry uh, email thing right at the bottom. Email me. Let me know what your situation is. It's at least $1,000. Um, it's going to be about $1,000 for 30 minutes. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I might as well just throw out a number right now. It is $1,000 for 30 minutes if you want emergency coaching from me. Otherwise, I am done for the year, and I might be done for next year too uh, because I anticipate that I'm going to be continuing to work with high-profile individuals, celebrities, things of that nature. And so, um, you know, if you need if you need my level of expertise, in my opinion, on a matter – um, I can make exceptions for emergencies, but it's a thousand for 30 minutes. Um, and it could be more. So, um, email me champion game front office at gmail.com or just book me through the website or, or, you know, hit me with the email, but it will be no less than a thousand dollars for 30 minutes. It will be no less than that. Um, because simply I just don't, I'm, I'm, done. I'm booked. I'm done. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this, this, uh, another classic. Um, I'll look at the data. If I feel there was enough contribution in the area of likes, comments, um, even, you know, uh, sp sponsorships, then we'll do more shows. If I look at it and it's not there, um, you, you know how I roll. Love you guys. See you again.